Hey guys, this is Jaren from WearTesters.com and the next chapter in the Derrick Rose signature line from Adidas drops today on October 15th. So here's the scouting report for the Adidas Rose 6. Let's start with what's fresh in our minds, the Rose 5. It was the first time Boost was implemented full length in an on-court model. Right before the Rose 5, we got Boost for the first time ever, but only in the heel with the Crazy Light 2014. To compensate for any instability we may have, Adidas encapsulated the Boost Foam in the forefoot, resulting in a stiffer ride that made the Boost Foam feel like it was locked up and never reached its full potential. This time around, Adidas bails out the Boost Foam with some unlocked portions in the forefoot. Will this be enough to give the Rose 6 that unforgettable Boost experience we have had in Adidas running models? Maybe, but we don't need the 6 rows cushion setup to feel like an Adidas Ultra Boost. We need the Rose 6 to be a happy medium between what the Rose 5 gave us and what the Ultra Boost gives us. That Goldilocks spot right there in the middle will give us that unforgettable Boost experience that Adidas has been promising us ever since they announced Boost Foam would grace the hardwood. Ever since the beginning, that being the ID Zero Rose 1.0, Accommodating Rose's external ankle support has always worked its way into the design process of each signature model. Whether it was the low cut dynamic bungee cord setup in the Adi Zero Rose 2.0 or the many different variations of GeoFit across the Rose signature line, there has always been something there to accommodate those who use extra ankle support. This time around in the Rose 6, we get a fit frame heel cage that looks very similar to what we saw in the Rose 2.0. The support system on the Rose 6 looks like a more sophisticated system that closely resembles Rose's calculated drives to the basket. The fit frame's hefty heel cup should give us that lateral stability we need to utilize the full potential of the boost cushion setup. This should be a nice change of pace from the speed driven support systems we got in previous Rose models. The launch colorway of the Rose 6, dubbed the home version, uses a synthetic mesh overlay with a diamond pattern underlay that should give us enough articulation and freedom of movement without sacrificing support and stability. Last year, the Rose 5 used a wide array of materials, but the launch colorway, which was many people's first and last experience with the Rose 5, used a stiff synthetic that didn't perform on court or aesthetically. Later releases, such as the Chicago Ice colorway, used a woven material that mimicked the J-Wall 1. These releases were a much better option than what Adidas originally launched the Rose 5 with. Hopefully this time around, Adidas gets things right with the materials. Not just releasing the good ones first, but having all colorways and releases use materials that work aesthetically and performance-wise. At the end of the day, the Rose line from Adidas used to be in the upper echelon of signature models, but took a step back to the good but not great range last year with its fifth installment. With the redesigned support system, tweaked cushion setup, and materials that make sense, Hopefully last year was a constructive year for Adidas and they took our critiques to fix the Rose 6 to bring it back to familiar territory of great performing signature models. Anyways guys, my name's Jaren. That was the Wear Tested Scouting Report for the Adidas Rose 6. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm off to go grab me a pair right now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. In a lot of Boost running models, you might be surprised on how firm the Rose 5